In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your cryptocurrency payments simple and build censorship resistant websites with unstoppable domains. Welcome to Everbit Helps. I hope you find today's video useful, and if you do, then please give it a like and share. Plus, for the latest information on unstoppable domains, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. Unstoppable Domains is a blockchain domain registry platform which creates domain name systems on blockchains. Its goal is to move the entire internet from its current centralized state to a decentralized one. Personalized blockchain domains offered by Unstoppable Domains can act as payment gateways, so users can transfer their cryptocurrencies anywhere in the world, cheaply and using readable names rather than complicated alphanumerical addresses. To get paid, all someone would need to know is your blockchain domain, which will end in either .crypto or .zil. This enables domain owners to attach their cryptocurrency addresses from different wallets to this one domain, and input only this domain in the address field when sending cryptocurrencies. By hiding long addresses, unstoppable domains believe that this should simplify cryptocurrency payments and lead to mainstream adoption for cryptocurrency. Domain owners can also build uncensorable websites with content stored in a decentralized storage network so that companies and governments can't control the content that you show on your website. Blockchain domains are stored by the owners in their wallet, just like cryptocurrency, so no third party can move or seize them. Plus, you only pay once and you own your domain for life with no renewal fees. And so that you can view these .crypto and .zil websites, they also have their own unstoppable blockchain browser or Chrome extension. And once installed, your .crypto and .zil domains will resolve in your browser just like a .com domain. So let's take a look at how we can set up an unstoppable domain now. And to get started, you'll need to head over to unstoppabledomains.com. And I have a link in the summary below, which is an affiliate link, but it won't cost you anything to use but if you did use it, I'd really appreciate it. So let's search for a domain in the search bar here. And this will need to be all in English characters for now, including letters, numbers, and dashes, obviously with no spaces like a domain name. And there's different types of statuses that you'll see for the domain that you search for. So first of all is whether domain is available. And you'll see the price for the domain and you'll be able to add it to your cart. The lowest price for a one-time payment is $40 for a .crypto domain and $20 for a .zil domain, again with no renewal fees. Where it states taken, this domain has already been registered. And you can see if that domain has cryptocurrency addresses attached, whether a website has been set up and whether the owner is listing it for sale. Where you see premium domain, these domains will be available later. So it may be worth adding them to your watch list if you're interested. Premium domains are more desirable and they're more expensive. And premium domains shorter than five characters as well as the top domains have not yet been released. Then there's protected domains. Again, you can add these to your watch list as some might become available at a later date. Or you can contact their support stating your interest and possibly proving your entitlement or your association to that domain. Now my domain was protected and although I didn't record it, I contacted support to get that released, and then I went ahead with the purchase, which I'll show you the process of now. So once you're logged in, search for your domain, and if it's available, you'll see the price appearing here. Then there's a couple of different ways that you can actually purchase this domain. So you can pay for that by card, by PayPal, using crypto, or you can pay with the crypto.com app. Plus, it's worth mentioning that you should get CRO cashback when using the crypto.com pay option. So that might be another way that you can save yourself some money. Also, they do tend to run offers when you pay in conjunction with crypto.com. And I've got a full tutorial about how to use crypto.com if you're interested in finding out more. But once your purchase is completed, your domain will appear under My Domains. Domains are ERC721 assets on the Ethereum blockchain. They're self-custody and you can store them away with a private key, just like you would with any cryptocurrency. 
and when you claim, you're essentially pushing your domain onto the blockchain. This process can take up to 72 hours, depending on network congestion. But once it's completed, you'll have complete custody over the domain. So as it states here, I have an unclaimed .crypto domain, and I can claim all crypto domains if I wish, or just press Claim Domain for my site here. To start the claim process, you may be asked to enter a confirmation code, which you'll be emailed, just to confirm your email. And if you haven't already connected your wallet, you can do so from here, using a Web3, Wallet Connect, or New Connect wallet. And it's up to you which wallet you use, but I'll personally be using a MetaMask wallet for claiming and storing my .crypto domain. Now, if you have any problems with connecting MetaMask, then it's worth checking out their feature guide for help. And this helps with using MetaMask with Brave. Or if you have another Web3 wallet downloaded, you'll need to disable it. Now, one thing that I learned after claiming my domain using MetaMask in conjunction with Ledger is that you'll need to use a slightly different system when managing your domain later if you're using a Ledger. To manage domains on a Ledger wallet, users have to use something called Guest Manage. The big difference is that unusable domains pays for the fees for all the transactions, unless a customer uses guest manage. Well, you'll need to pay the fees to manage your domain. This only applies when you're connecting through a ledger and not a Trezor, as Trezor has the firmware to allow them to pay the domain owner's gas. I found this all out after I'd already claimed, after speaking with their support via Telegram, and Jez, who assisted me, was really helpful. But you can then claim your domain by agreeing the owner of the domain will be the Ethereum address that you've connected. And you'll need to click the checkbox to confirm you understand. The claim process will then start. Once that's completed, you'll be able to view this under transactions on the left-hand side here. So now that we have our domain, we might want to set that up for payments. So next, we'll take a look at how to add crypto addresses so that your domain can receive money. So this is the part now where you may need to use Guest Manage if you're using a ledger. Or you simply go to My Domains and Manage if you're not. And you'll see here that the screens are exactly the same. Now in here, you can start to add your cryptocurrency addresses. And they support Bitcoin, Ethereum, Zill, Litecoin, and XRP. And you can add further cryptocurrencies from this drop down too. And they support over 50 different types of cryptocurrencies. And then you can just add your addresses to wherever you want to receive. Now, again, if you're using a ledger, you'll want to make sure that you add as many addresses at one time as possible, as you'll be paying the gas fee. And you can enter in any wallet address into this section that you wish. And you can send crypto to a blockchain domain in the likes of Coinbase, Trust, MyCrypto and Atomic. Again, all of which I have tutorials for if you're interested in finding out more. And I'm going to show you how to send crypto in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and add my Ethereum address into here now. And you'll need to sign the transaction and wait for the transaction to complete before you make any further changes. And once you have that set up, Someone can simply send you crypto to the addresses that you've entered by opening up a supported wallet. And in this example, I'm going to be sending from Atomic. And when someone enters in that domain, the wallet looks up the domain on the blockchain, finds the appropriate address, and sends the address associated with that name. Now, heading back to unstoppable domains, if we click onto the icon to the left of crypto, it takes us to almost like a dashboard or an overview for this domain. So it shows us the domain owner. You can chat with others using a decentralized technology. There's a link to add those crypto addresses that we just added. You can launch your website, which I'm going to take you through in a moment. Or you can transfer or sell your domain. So you can transfer a blockchain domain within seconds, permissionlessly, anywhere in the world for just a few cents. And this is a major improvement over the traditional domain system that has up to 30 day waiting periods and pretty high fees. To transfer, you simply enter in the address of the recipient that you want to transfer it to and sign the transaction within your wallet. 
and you'll need to have the private key in order to manage your name. If you transfer the name to an exchange or any other custodial account where you do not control the private keys, you won't be able to access your name. And if you want to sell your domain, you can mark your domain for sale on Unstoppable Domains. Or you can sell it on OpenSea. So let's take a look at how you can launch your website. And there's three different ways that you can launch a website with your domain. And this will depend on your technical ability or your knowledge. The first way is that you can select a template from their marketplace, which you can then customize and publish to IPFS. You can also build a website yourself and simply attach your IPFS hash to your domain. Or you can upload your own website to their IPFS uploader. The great thing about your website is that it's uncensored and you can place whatever you like onto it without any restrictions. Now, one thing to be aware of here is that to view .crypto or .zil websites, you'll need to download the Unstoppable Blockchain Browser or the Unstoppable Chrome extension. The reason for this is that major search engines do not currently index blockchain domain websites. And once installed, your .crypto and .zil domains will resolve in your browser like a .com domain. And your .crypto domain websites can also be viewed in Opera for Android. But that's how you can make your cryptocurrency payments simple and build censorship resistant websites with unstoppable domains. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.